Okay, so in this lecture, we are now going to discuss about the next type of compound proposition, which is called as conjunction. So for uh, understanding the logic of conjunction, first let us consider two sets. These are the two sets. First set is A and B, and we can see A intersection B in between them. Okay, suppose you have an element X. Now look at these two sets, and suppose you have an element X, which is in A, okay, and which is in B also. Okay, so if the if the element is in A and B both, means the element has to be here. So this obviously means that X belongs to what? X belongs to A intersection B, okay? But uh, if suppose X belongs to A and uh, X does not belong to B, okay? X does not belong to B, then can it belong to the intersection? Can it be inside this intersection area? It cannot be inside the intersection area. That element X has to be in the set X A itself. So X is here. So this is x which is in a but it is not in but it is not in b right so this means that x cannot be an element of a intersection b if x is in b but uh, x is not in a then cannot uh, then can the element x belong to a intersection b it means the element x is somewhere here so this means that x cannot belong to what x cannot belong to a intersection B and the last case is that suppose X is not in A and X is also not in B so X is neither of the sets so X is somewhere out so this is an element X which is uh, which is outside A and which is outside B in that case that element cannot belong to the intersection it cannot lie here so right so this means X does not belong to A intersection B right so now this means that we, we are now ready to prepare the table of composition um, of, of conjunction. What is the table? Can you now see from these four statements, what will be the, uh, the table according to that? Here you have a yes, here you have a yes, and here also you have a yes. So it is true. First is true, second is true, and therefore the output is also true. Here you have a true statement. This becomes false. So this is yes, this is no. And therefore, what is the output? The output is also no. If this is a yes, this is a no, means B is yes and A is no, then in that case, still the output is what? No. And if this is a no and this is a no, then the output is also no. So this will mean that F, F and F. So this is the table for conjunction. I will remove this part of table now. Okay, so this is the logic behind how the conjunction operator was formed because you know you are using this simple set theory there. So now let us complete that table. So here you have P is this, P is true, Q is true. In that case, the answer was true. If it's X is in A, X is not in B, X cannot be in A intersection B. If X is not in A, X is in B, then still the output is false. And if X is not in A, X is not in B, then X cannot be in the intersection of A and B. So this is the way the table of conjunction was actually formed. So there is the logic behind it. This logic was has arise from the theory of sets. So once this table is now clear to all of you, okay, I hope you have copied this table. So this means that we are now in a position to write the definition of conjunction. So how will you define, look at this table and understand that how will you define the table of conjunction. The table of conjunction says that if P and Q both are true, if P and Q both are true, then P, P intersection Q or P conjunction Q is true. Otherwise, for all the cases, the, the conjunction of P and Q is was is what it is false. So I will repeat the definition. If P and Q both are true, only then P conjunction of Q is true. Otherwise, P conjunction of Q is what is false. So let us write this definition clearly. So what is the definition? I'm now writing the definition. The definition is saying that if P and Q are propositions, 
then p and q i will say this as p and q is true when this is true only if both p and q are true okay so and otherwise it is otherwise it is false okay so this is the definition of what this is the definition of a conjunction okay now let us go to the uh, next definition which is the definition of a disjunction so for disjunction we are going to look uh, instead of looking at a intersection b we are going to look at the sets of what a union b now all of you know if i try to shade a union b a union b will be everything okay it will be entire thing that i'm shading here right now this shading is a shading of what this shading let me write it here in a diagram is this is a union b okay again ask your same questions to yourself a let let us take an x which is in a and let us take an x which is in b it is in both the things so if x is an element which is in a and b both okay then uh, th then that element will obviously lie in what that element will obviously lie in a union b because this x is lying in a and this x is also lying in b but suppose i have x which is in a but the element x is not in b means that element x is somewhere here then is that element x lying in a union b does it lie in a union b is it lying in that shaded region the answer is yes if x is an element which is in b but x is an element which is uh, not in a okay x is in not in a but x is in b then does that element lie in the set a union b yes it lies in the shaded region so x lies in a union b suppose an element x is outside a means x is not in a and x is not in b both x is not, is in neither of them then can that x lie inside its this shaded region a union b the answer to that question is that x cannot lie in a union b and therefore this gives us the hint of how should i prepare the table of disjunction if you see here this is true 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 a union b is also true x is not in this first is true second is true third is again true this is true false this is false and this is false so here i have false and false at this positions false is here here i have false here i have false the output is also false and therefore now my table can be created accordingly true true will give me true true with a false will still give me true false with a true will also give me true but false with a false will give me a false so this is the logic behind how the table of disjunction was created now look at this particular uh, table carefully and and how will we define the disjunction we will now define the disjunction as say, saying look at this last line okay the last line suggests us that the definition of disjunction is clear to us that if both p and q if both of them are false then p or q is false otherwise it is always otherwise it is always true so we will write down the definition of disjunction i hope you have copied this table so what is the definition of disjunction if p and q are propositions then p or q is false if both are false if both are false otherwise it is true okay so this becomes the definition of disjunction now let us go to some simple example write the conjunction and disjunction of the following propositions so the first statement p is today is friday and second statement q is it is raining today so what is the conjunction so solution let me write the solution here what is conjunction conjunction is p and q 
what is the answer today is friday and it is raining what is the disjunction disjunction stands for or p or q is today is friday or it is raining so this is the disjunction of the given thing right let me go to the next example write the following in words so the first is i bought a lottery ticket this week and second statement is i won 1 lakh rupees so now we want to write these two things p and negation q and the second statement is negation p or negation q so i am writing the solution of the first part now p and negation q remember i had told you you can write negation like this also you can even write the negation this fashion also so i will write p and negation q so p is as it is so i bought a lottery ticket this week and this stands for and and the other word for and is but you can use but also but i did not negation of q i did not won 1 lakh rupees or i lost 1 lakh rupees second negation p or negation q either either i did not buy lottery ticket or i did not win 1 lakh rupees so now let us define what is exclusive or so for this uh, definition we will pay attention as these two sets now what i will do is i will shade this region now see all of you i am shading which type of region i am shading a but not completely i am leaving the intersection part aside okay this region and i am also going to shade b but not the intersection part okay this is the shaded region this shaded region is called as symmetric difference this shaded region is called what symmetric difference and this symmetric difference is denoted by symbol a triangle b so this is the notation for symmetric difference okay so so if you understand what is symmetric difference you will see that what is symmetric difference i have taken a union b means everything from that a union b i have removed a intersection b so what is the definition of symmetric difference take a union b a union b means complete thing okay this also this is a union b the or an entire shaded region is a union b from that a union b you subtract which region you remove the region a intersection b when you remove this region whatever shaded region now you see on the screen that region is called as symmetric difference okay now this symmetric difference i am going to again use some arguments so let us take an element in a suppose x is an element in a also and x is an element in b also so x is where x is in a as well as x is in b so in that case where should the element x go the element x should go inside the intersection because in that case x is in a also and x is in b 
so x is in a intersection b does it mean that x x belongs to a symmetric difference b is it in the shaded region a symmetric uh, b is the shaded region do, do, do you see that x is not in the shaded region so this means that if x is in a and x is in b this implies that x cannot be an element of the symmetric difference suppose x is in a and x is not in b so where is the element x in that case the element x is here right is it a member of symmetric difference does it belongs to the symmetric difference yes or no so the answer to that question is yes because it lies in the shaded region if x belongs to if x is not in a so let me remove x from here now x is not in a but x belongs to b alone so x belongs to b is it a member of symmetric difference the answer is yes it belongs to the shaded region suppose i am taking an x which is outside a and which is outside b so x does not belong to a x does not belong to b then is x a member of a symmetric b does x lie in the shaded region the answer to that question is no so this means that my table for symmetric difference is now getting slowly ready this this first line will tell you true true and false so true true with the false second line is telling you true false true true false true third is false true true so false true and true and what is the last statement false 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 so it is false 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 so this will become the table of symmetric difference let me carry out, out this table on the next page symmetric difference is denoted by this symbol p symmet ring sum q okay so it is true 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 false false true and false false so what is the logic the logic i have explained to you the answers were false true true and false now have a look at this table and from this table you can write the definition of symmetric uh, of sorry of exclusive or this symbol is called as exclusive or this exclusive or definition we have derived by using the logic of symmetric difference in set theory so i'm using set theory for building logic and i'm getting the definition of exclusive or so now you observe in this table that the answer is true when is the answer is answer true if exactly one of p or q is true if one of them exactly is true only then the answer is true if both are true then it is false if both are false then it is false so this becomes the definition of symmetric difference okay i'm writing it on the next page if p and q are propositions then p exclusive or q is true when is the statement true if exactly one of them if exactly one of them is true otherwise it is false this is the definition of exclusive or okay